Welcome back. We are out here on the big pond, big windy, Lake Winnipeg, home of the Dirty 30. I'm out here by myself today. And the target is obviously walleye. Uh, maybe some big pike too. Been catching a few of those around here lately. Um, I'm going to show you guys what we're using right now. I'm by myself. Drove out with the truck. No problems. Truck access is actually really good right now, but always, you know, it's better to travel in pairs. Um, first thing we're going to start out with for our rattle baits, Lake Winnipeg just it's hard to fish Lake Winnipeg without a rattle bait. Calls them in, and when they're really aggressive, they absolutely smoke it. This is a new one from Element Custom Baits. This is their mug shot. Two different sizes, a 60, this is a 60, and a 70 millimeter. This pink is absolutely dynamite. Pink on Lake Winnipeg just works very, very well for walleye. Um, what's unique about this is it's got a completely different uh, color pattern compared to any other bait we've ever seen before. So they work really well. And for my second bait, a little more of my uh, dead sick bait, if you want to call it, I got the tried and true gold slender spoon and hammered it's quite light it's got a really funky curve on it so it flutters completely different to anything i've ever seen before the only thing i did is i changed the treble hook on it to a ichikawa i believe so a little bit sharper a little bit uh stronger but when it tip this a little bit of meat a little bit of minnow drop down and hopefully i don't suck today and we can put a video together for you guys and show you guys what lake winnipeg is all about quick clip to show you our setup here we're in the eskimo 650 outbreak tons of space Big buddy heater on medium, just too hot in here. We got the live scope, and this is how we have it set up. We have it facing and forward, going through all these holes right here. That way, it's completely out of the way. I'm gonna be fishing in these two right here, and that one's just in case I need to quickly drop to one that's swimming away. But if we go to our live scope now, what we can do is we can actually look really far ahead and kind of see fish coming in a little bit better if we have it in forward versus if we had it in down, we wouldn't have that. Also, this is our custom live imaging pole here. These are going to be linked in the description below. All aluminum construction, super heavy duty, super easy to use. Um, yeah, they'll be in our description down below. Okay, now enough, uh, enough talking. Let's get to some fishing. Smoke me. Small. Woo! That's what you come here for, ladies and gentlemen. Sauger. Hmm. Not it not exactly what we're after, but Hey. Fish is a fish. You know it was aggressive though, so that could mean that when a big mama comes around, she'll be just as aggressive. And we like that. It makes it a lot easier for hook sets and don't have to play with them as much. Nice. Well, skunks out of the tent. He's getting worried there. That was like 15 minutes without a fish. Only seeing one mark, but it's okay. Long day ahead of us. A lot of fish action to be had. Oh, big mark. Big mark. Big mark, big mark, big mark. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh! Oh my gosh, give me another chance, give me another chance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It like pushed it with its nose. No! Oh! Totally bit. Oh, there it is, there it is. There, big fish. That feels heavy. That feels nice. Oh my gosh, and it's right up the hole just like that. Whoa, that happened fast. That happened fast, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Look at that, absolutely crushed that bait, not once, but twice. Oh, that was hungry. Okay, I'm gonna try not to get hooked now. Well, that happened pretty freaking quick, but hit me once, <laughs> completely missed it, Gave me another shot. That is 23 inches. Very nice fish, way too big to keep guys. That is going back, but absolutely gorgeous fish. Thank you for the fight, bud. Oh, and she kicks off. Very nice. So that thing came in on the left, saw the rattle baits, absolutely crushed it. I think it just completely missed it and pushed it off. Swam out of the screen of the live scope, came back, gave me second chance, and it had the bait down in its throat. 
Um, awesome. Cool. It's, it was getting a little slow there. I was getting a little worried again. But, uh, hey, that's a nice fish. Quick little thing I don't think I mentioned on the rods. This is one of the new Elliott's Evolution rods. Awesome rod. This is a 42 medium. The one thing I really like about this that actually happened there. It's got a really nice action that I like on it. So it's got a nice soft tip. So when that rod loads up like this, if that fish decides to do a big head shake or swim up quick and releases, I still have rod bent over. So there's a less likely chance you're gonna lose a fish. So a little bit of a softer tip and lots of backbone just allows for more cushion in case anything happens that uh, you don't expect. So nice. We also sell them in a few different uh, lengths and actions, but this is just the one I chose 42 medium and it's a pretty wicked rod. So. Cool, let's catch a bigger one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, is gonna go around, drill a hole probably every 20 feet, two holes actually, one for the live scope, and one for the hole I'm actually gonna fish out of, just so that way, um, fishing out of the live scope hole can be a pain in the butt, especially when you're by yourself, getting stuff tangled up, so, yeah, follow along. Okay, first drop of the new hole. Looks like a fish right there. It's about 15 feet that way. We don't have a hole there. This is when it's nice to have two guys, so you can just have one guy drilling the holes and the other guy catching fish. So you can call it in with the rattle baits. I just grabbed the one rod. It's a rock in the ECB still. So I caught two, both other fish on today so far, so awesome this guy could come in and bite it I do have a couple holes right there actually maybe we'll skirt there really fast oh there's a fish moving in right there you might see my bait this could get interesting where'd he go there he is, see him? That's him right there about eight feet behind us. And he is leaving, it looks like. Nice. Oh, it's not a small one either. That's that's the fresh bait, frustrating part. Dang it. Once again, this is a nice one to be two people, so we can just go drill a hole ahead of it, run over there, drop a line, and catch a dirty 30. Oh, there he is, there he is. Coming from the right. So he's coming hot and heavy. Please. Come on. Come on. Could eat it. Yeah, I think he's gonna eat. Nope. Oh, he spun right past it. Didn't care. Oh, that's depressing. Oh. Oh, that's a fish right there. Oh, that's a nice one too. Where is it? It's coming. Come on, I don't know where he is. Where did he go? Left me. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. 
Oh. Come on. I can't buy a bite right now. No. Ooh. Hmm. That's it right there. Kind of swimming that way. About four feet away. Okay. Couple feet away. It's right on top of me, underneath me. Looks like it's gonna eat. Oh my gosh. Swam right up for it and completely denied it. Need a second chance? Wow. I don't know what the hell these fish want. Well, I think I'm gonna end my suffering here. Um, I put these two baits in front of a lot of fish's faces today and they did not bite it. Element Custom Bait and the Slender Spoon had them both two completely different baits and uh, had multiple big fish as you would have seen come in right to it, look at it and swim off. So. I have been hearing that they have been lockjawed lock from a few guides around here on uh, Facebook and Instagram and everything. And uh, I didn't believe it. I wanted to come out here and try it for myself, but looks like they're right because they're on here every single day and they probably know better. So yeah, we're gonna end it off with that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you're looking for any of the gear used today, Ion Auger, Live Scope, Elliott Rods, everything, we have it online at sportsheadquarters.ca and I'll have it linked in the description down below. We'll see you in the next video.